All that remained of the hunter were tattered scraps of clothing, scattered bones, and a handful of gruesome body parts. His face was unrecognizable, ravaged beyond repair by the savage teeth of a merciless predator. The year was 1997. In the untamed wilderness of the Russian Far East, a majestic tiger had launched a brutal and bloody attack, unleashing a reign of terror that would haunt the region for years to come. This true story of vengeance and survival is chronicled in John Valent's riveting book, The Tiger, A True Story of Vengeance and Survival, a gripping tale that will leave you on the edge of your seat until the very last page. In the cold, unforgiving forests of eastern Siberia, a local hunter named Vladimir Markov discovers the bloody carcass of a wild boar lying half-eaten in the snow. He instantly realizes he's in great danger because he has just stumbled upon a fresh kill made by one of Russia's most dangerous predators, the Siberian tiger. At the point where Vladimir Markov realized that he was coming upon tigers killed, he knew that the tiger will still be there because it'll still feed upon that kill until there was nothing left to feed on. So, if he doesn't shoot that tiger first, the tiger will kill him. As the tiger approached Markov to defend its kill, he fired his rifle, but only wounded the angry cat. The tiger was injured and retreated back into the forest. But that's not the end of the story, because a few days later, the local authorities were informed that Markov had been attacked and killed at his home by a vicious tiger. But when investigators arrived in Markov's lock haven, they found a disturbing scene. It's pretty remarkable seeing the images. There was obviously quite a lot of blood. Clothes are tattered everywhere. Often when tigers kill people, it's not necessarily for food, but that in Markov's case, the tiger ate everything it possibly could have had of him. It wanted to leave no trace of the man. The strangest part of Vladimir Markov's story is that the tiger actively destroyed everything around that lodge that had Vladimir's scent on it, just destroyed it in seemingly a fit of anger. But even more unsettling than the gruesome killing was the fact that investigators later determined that Markov was eaten by the same tiger he had shot with his rifle. The tiger tracked Vladimir back to his hunting lodge, a distance of 11 kilometers, and then it waited. That is what is remarkable. It waited, think around 48 hours for him to return to that lodge. And then, when Vladimir returned, It killed him. The story of Vladimir Markov's death at the hands of a deadly tiger is frightening. But it's also mysterious because while animals will naturally defend themselves when attacked, this tiger tracked Markov down over an unusually long distance. But why? Big predators will kill smaller predators with which they compete. And there's a long history of the human competition with predators. So it's possible that tiger was viewing this as competition. And I want to get rid of a competitor because this is a threat to my livelihood. So don't steal food from tigers is the lesson that stands out from Markov's story. Did the tiger kill Markov because it viewed him as a threat to its survival? Perhaps. But there are those who believe that it was motivated not by self-preservation, but rather by a desire to exact revenge. You can't look at this story of Vladimir and not think that this is a story of vengeance. The tiger stopped at Vladimir's cabin. It waited for Vladimir to return home for the attack. Everything here points to premeditation. And you look at other instances. You see attacks with tigers who will seek vengeance on people they don't like. These animals can feel these emotions. All animals have neurochemical responses, which are remarkably similar across all sorts of species. They feel emotions are feelings that influence behavior exactly the same as we do. Do not mess with the tiger. It's going to come after you. Marco will have known that when he shot that tiger and it didn't die, he knew that his time was up. This tiger has the ability to hold a grudge against a single individual for over 48 hours and then take its revenge. We have taken dominion over nature in many ways because of our technological developments, but we are still a part of nature and we are still occasionally on the menu of bigger and stronger animals, such as tigers. It's chilling to think that a tiger could actually have a vendetta a score to settle with human beings. In recent times, we have seen countless examples of animals standing up against the ruthless and inhumane actions of poachers. From lions fiercely defending their territory against hunting camps to rhinos taking charge and charging back at their attackers. 
It's as if these animals have had enough and are fighting back against the injustices inflicted upon them. Even tigers have been known to turn the tables on their human counterparts, showing that no one is invincible in the face of nature's wrath. It's clear that Mother Nature will not stand idly by and let her creations be destroyed without a fight. Please subscribe to the channel if you have liked the video and don't forget to like, share, and comment. See you later.